Bungie has been accused of stealing art for Destiny 2, and it gets so much worse, and we will be jumping into all of those dark details because this has become the top trending topic both on Twitter and on Reddit in the last 24 hours. Everyone is talking about this. Is this Bungie stealing an artist's work or is it not? Obviously, it's a little bit of a debate. We're going to go through the timeline here, starting from the very beginning. Obviously, we have the Ace of Spades here. This is an image. This is IP to owned by Bungie. This is used in Destiny 1. This is their exotic hand cannon. Most of you are familiar with this. There shouldn't be too many surprises by this, but a commission was made in 2015, just a year after Destiny 1 came out, and this was the commission. This artist was paid to make this image for an individual. Now, obviously, they don't necessarily own the rights to, you know, the Ace of Spades by any means, but they have their own artistic touch to every little tiny detail here. You can see all the different scratches that are added to it and all the different shapes and shading and everything. There's obviously a big difference between what was presented by Bungie in 2014 and then this artist rendition in 2015. Now fast forward nine years later and we have Bungie is now selling a Nerf Ace of Spades. And you'll notice if you look at it very closely, there's a ton of minute details taken from this artist's work right here. In fact, there's so many taken from it that it's obviously a lift. They took some of the tiny details and they lifted them off of the artist's work and then placed them onto the Nerf Ace of Spades. You can see here, even the tiniest scratches on the barrel of the gun, they match up, they line up perfectly. We have the scratches on the top of the gun, all the way down to the handle, the exact shape of the Ace of Spades logo. Every little detail, every little scratch on here matches perfectly to this artist's work in 2015, so nine years ago. So obviously someone at Bungie or whoever made this Nerf Ace of Spades saw this image and decided to lift all of the scratches, all the small details off of it and put it onto the Nerf Ace of Spades. But this artist was not commissioned in any way or paid by Bungie to do this. So now obviously Bungie is selling the Nerf Ace of Spades with this artist's work on it and all this all the, the work they put into making it they're kind of kind of their own that's kind of the issue though is this does this make it their own work obviously it's still primarily the ace of spades like it's 90 percent the ace of spades but all these tiny little details little filigree on the weapon and everything this adds its own artistic flavor to it and the reason why this artist was commissioned way back in 2015. we can even look into some of the smaller details here and they zoom in in this entire article brought to us by destiny bolton they zoom into all these tiny little images here. You can see the cracks and everything lining up exactly perfectly to such a tiny detail that there's no doubt in any, no one should be watching this and have any doubt in their mind that this image was literally lifted off of here. So they, they took those small details from the artist's work and they lifted that off to put it onto the Nerf Ace of Spades. And that's kind of the key selling point is taking an artist's work and then putting it onto back onto the Ace of Spades, which is Bungie's IP, right? And then selling that and without actually paying that artist or anything. So that's where the controversy has risen. And I'll leave you to debate whether or not you think that that's uh, a fair practice by Bungie. I think most people are pretty upset by it. Literally, if you just go look inside Google, you'll see Ace of Spades Destiny Art. It's one of the top images that pops up. Like it's not too hard to find it. And you can tell that it's not made by Bungie. It has, you know, different URLs linking to it and everything else. Like it's not too hard to decipher who owns this art piece and who created this and that it's not a piece of bungee work. Now, a lot of people have speculated that since Destiny has been out for so long and there's so much artwork out there that maybe it can be kind of hard to decipher one thing or the other. But, you know, we're talking about the reputation of a multi-billion dollar company and you want to keep your reputation as clean as possible. You definitely don't want to steal from artists. That's not a good look for you, especially as a company that hires, as a company that employs so many different artists to develop their game and has a great reputation for making excellent art. Obviously, you don't want to do this. And this is not the first time this has happened, though. This is actually the third time this has happened now. So this is where we've got a repeat offender here with Bungie here, or at least allegedly, you know, we'll go into all the details when we get a response from Bungie. Now we had this one before. Now this is a little bit of a different situation because it was uploaded as fan art to the Bungie website, but this was a big controversy back in the day where we were talking about how someone uploaded this fan art and then it literally got put into the cutscene and that person had no knowledge of it by any means. So obviously Bungie has their own terms of service when it comes to images that are uploaded to their website and they do have the rights to use those images in any way they see fit. So keep that in mind that Bungie's terms of service 
sort of nullified any argument from this case. I believe this is kind of an older case back in the day, a little over a year old now. But the new one, this was not uploaded to Bungie's website. This is a piece, this is an artist's work right here. They made this uh, and in making it, it has their own flavor, their own artistic touch to it. And that has been taken from them and placed onto the Ace of Spades a nerf replica and is being sold now. So it's become quite a hot topic. A lot of people are talking about it on Twitter and Reddit. So I want to bring you a video to see what you weigh in on this, how you weigh in on this and what you think about it. But make sure to subscribe and smash the like button and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Later.